Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forrent, here playing once again as the mighty Ottomans. So I have returned from my vacation week. Not that uh, it would have been too evident to most of you, considering I had videos for most of the days, but not all of them. Well, I'm glad to be back. It was quite relaxing and warm. And uh, here we go. So uh, let's see. Oh, yes. I just did the United Islam, correct? Yes. And now I'm stuck dealing with the whole fact that virtually everybody in the universe hates me. Ah. Okay. Huge coalition eventually, and we are massively overextended. So, uh, I guess here we go for now. I'm not really sure what I'm going to end up doing as the next wars. It would be kind of cool to uh, uh, take, like, Portuguese Brazil and Portuguese Guinea, so we'll see. Meantime, I have to deal with all of the uh, problems that come from having 200% overextension. Um, and, uh, yes, I forgot Russia is in our ally again. Joy. Okay. Well, I'll deal with that, and uh, we'll see where things go from there. One thing you can say about Europa is things don't get too boring. Now that was Rio, I think. Yeah. So I had a fun vacation, but, and I'm mentioning this because it's kind of hilarious, my mouse broke on day two of the vacation. It would not right-click. Do you know how many games you used your right mouse button in? Oh, it was awful. I had to order a new mouse. I couldn't even play Europa to try and do more guides or anything. Because, of course, you need to right-click to use the army. I do have a laptop, but then I had to use the touchpad to try and right-click while uh, moving troops, which just doesn't work. Uh, it's amazing how many games you use your right-click for. We are going to suffer some nasty inflation, unless this gets cored soon. We've got about a whole year more of this, Joy. On the other hand, troop-wise, we're in great shape. Admin-wise, we're in good shape. I think I'll wait probably until all this land is cored. And then I might even go truce-breaking again and start another fight. Whoops, one sec. My cat needs to come in off of a porch. One sec. Silly cat. Come on, darling. Sorry about that. Cat has been trapped inside all week, so it decided it wanted to poke its head outside onto our porch, but, uh... It's a little cold out there for a cat. Oh, I forgot how slow late game is in this. Um, I sure hope France is going to be fine here. Otherwise, they might lose to England. That would be interesting. Great Britain's really the only threat left. Spain is still, despite me really beating them up, is still really developed. Uh, it's because they control Africa, that's why. I haven't been paying attention to what they actually control. That's a lot of development through there. Uh, no, not going to give you that. Portuguese separatists. Uh, uh, what is our absolutism? Could be a bit higher, couldn't it? At least I'll slow down the Portuguese rebels. Hmm, I don't really want uh, Sicilian rebels, though. Where's my fleet? There's my fleet. Let's move at least this army to Naples. And Napoli, in this case, I think. Oh, I forgot how slow it is sometimes. One thing I didn't miss was the slow speed. 
I did manage to play some of uh, Stellaris while I was away, so Stella and I will be continuing that little series for fun. Can I repeal these? I can do that. I don't know if that's worth it, though. Probably don't actually need that right now. Manpower is recovering fine. Yeah, ten in all categories. Just what we need. And where? What are you up to? Oh, you're starving because for some reason the Great British are marching through there. Huh. Interesting. Oh, General died. And that would be a cat, in case anyone's wondering. Okay, where are these guys? Bordeaux. Okay, already going to be defeated by my existing troops. My 10 plus morale should make a mincemeat of them. Um, do we have any conversions to be done? We do, so why aren't you giving me... Oh, because I'm coring all of that, duh. Okay. Which should mean I should be able to core them now rather than having to try and convert them. Good. Got a lot to convert. More French separatists join. Um, let's hire a general here. Ooh, good general. Use him there. I'm going to need more troops in Sicily. For sure. Where else are we looking at rebels? Everywhere. Joy. Um. I'll suppress those guys for now. This is the problem with large conquests and why I avoid getting this large usually in single wars. Okay, port doors fell onto Barry. <sighs> Ships are almost to uh, Tarragonia. bit annoying that I kind of have to merge armies just to stop rebel stacks. Where else are we looking at? Okay, pretty much just there. Um, I don't think I'm going to accept the support of a miss... Uh, looks like I am accepting the support of a mystic. Interesting. The less re rebel sentiment, the better right now. That has a fort, so it should be recaptured. These guys are quite a uh, separatist army. And we have Moroccan separatists, which should be dealt with. I just really have to kill one group of each of the rebels, and then I'm in good shape. So, Till then, that should also be a battle I can win fairly well. One of my armies was on Suppress Rebels, wasn't it? Not you. Where are you? You're on Suppress Rebels, so where are you going? Oh. They're not going to help. Okay. I think at this point I might just merge these armies together and use them like this. That's going to be one heck of a fight there. Breton Separatist should be dealt with. Hi, cat. Just had a cat land on my lap, sorry. Okay, rebels dealt with. I'm going to have the Corsica Sardinia rebels are going to be a little bit of a struggle, though. This area should be fine, just 
because of the fort. Where else are we looking at rebels? I wish there was a map mode that like really showed you where your rebels were. Because I have rebels sieging my lands, but they're not being highlighted. You should be able to win that fight. Okay. Portuguese, Spanish, etc., etc. Okay, that's those dealt with. Those dealt with. That'll be dealing with you. Get at least 40,000 over to that location for the moment. Namur was one. You have a fort, so I don't need to reoccupy. It's amazing how many rebels there are popping up everywhere. Part of the issue is I just can't uh, rebuild my armies fast enough. In terms of getting troops to the armies. Okay, that's dealt with. That's being dealt with. Savoy Yard Separatists. Whew, that's a lot of them. Any other rebels I can suppress? Catalonian? Sure, might as well. About 96 absolutism again, which will help. And then if we eliminate... Ay, ay, ay. So many separatists. Wow. Take that. Winning there. Where else did we have rebels? Rome. Huh. Okay, at least we seem to have suppressed the Spanish rebels. The North African rebels. Once I take out the Italian ones, we should be in pretty good shape, considering we just cored about half of the problems. Plus our conversion strength is wonderful now. Okay, what are we looking at? We're eighty-two percent, so we're in good shape over extension wise. I don't know if it's gonna stop these rebels anytime soon though. They just wanna revolt. Let's reoccupy. Re put in ships, prevent you from starving. And then, gonna need to march to retake Rome, or to defend Rome, more like it. Oh, trading in paper is nice, but we're not having admin tech problems. Although, if we do it, we'll be able to get five more states, which would be kind of cool. Plus, if I want to, I can attack Spain. You know what? We're attacking Spain. Especially before they join a coalition. There we go. Attacking Spain shouldn't be too difficult, I would hope. Considering they've been pretty well beat up. Plus, we're fighting the Pope again, which is just icing on the cake, considering it's free land to some degree. There we go. Sorry, my other mouth isn't working that well either. I've got a replacement, but it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, what are we looking at? 192,000. Spain is 92. I don't think they're in the New World. They're in the, they're in Africa. So I shouldn't be too worried about them. 
Again, all I have to do is take Madrid and I'm winning the war, so. Just can't let any rebel groups stick around for now. Okay. Really, just with the Pope and Spain, it shouldn't be too hard of a war. I doubt the coalition is going to attack me at this point. I think it's kind of a non-problem. Plus, I actually have, what, 77% spying on Spain, so... Seeds project um, fort defense is on my, my side. I should be able to siege rather quickly. Assuming I can actually, you know, take the forts. Called in Tunis, so they should keep Spain relatively busy. And of course, good old Serbia is here. Good old Serbia helping to win the war. Okay, Madrid has already fallen. That was kind of what I was hoping would happen. Upgrade that fleet, I think. And we've maxed out diplomatic power. Okay. Um, oh, this is exploiting development. I want to encourage development. Uh, cost. Let's improve everything from two that I see, I think. In case anyone's curious why I keep doing, trying to keep relatively easy numbers, because it helps with the attrition when I'm marching through. Even if I do waste some power here developing higher, at least I know that my lands have a base development that I can relatively be sure of. Besides, at this point it's like 27 even for an expensive province. 26 for some of these. Might as well waste it all. It's not like I need tons of... Well, actually, I'm going to need some diplomatic power, aren't I, for taking provinces. Yeah, I'll get it back. No idea why I pushed that one to four, but I did. There we go. Almost 8,000 development. We'll have over 8,000 development by the end of this war. Let's go take um, the Pope's capital. Good thing we have all those cannons I built up, huh? Makes it a lot easier to take these forts. Still, late game sieging is still a bit annoying to deal with. Hmm. I just really wish I kind of knew what Tunis was doing half the time. That, and I wish I knew where Spain's military was. They're not in another war, are they? Maybe they're just marching their troops down from the Congo region. I suppose I could do what? Infiltrate administration? Let's see where their military is. I'm kind of curious. Ah, here's some of their military. Where's the rest? There's some down there in British South Africa. There's not a lot in Colombia because they lost that. Canada doesn't seem to have much. So where is their mil... Oh, ha, ah, here it is. They've got their entire military stationed in Indonesia. Or at least 60 some odd thousand of it. That would explain why they're having some difficulties. It would also explain why they keep invading uh, this region over and over and over and over again. It's just a matter of sieging now. Let's see, is there any other achievements I can look through in this playthrough? Let's see if I can leave it unpaused. Uh, apparently not. Apparently it's uh, pretty laggy if I do that. Yeah, well, I am Muslim, but I don't think I can do that. 
You can probably get Lawland, but Hehe is going to be a little bit harder. Only 633 provinces, though. I'd have to pretty much wipe out Russia to even get close to that. I mean, I suppose I could try and uh, really beat up Russia. That might be fun. No. Oh, we took that. Uh, I don't actually think I want that fight, now that I think about it. They still have a lot of troops, and I don't want to get into a fight that I'm probably definitely going to lose. So the other thing that needs to be considered, and I'll toss this out here, is uh, what do I do when I'm done with this Let's Play? That's a good question. Uh, I think I'm probably going to take a break from Europa, try and finish up some of my other series, which, if you enjoy this, you might enjoy some of those. Um, I kind of want to finish up at least Tales of Berseria and Evil Land, and maybe even Dark Souls. We'll see. So, if you guys would do me a favor and check those out, or at least if you have an opinion on it, let me know which one I should work on. But, uh, I think I'll probably keep doing guides for Europa, but probably a Let's Play is going to be at least a month or two of a break. We'll see. Uh, those are Rebels. Go stop them, would you? Um, or not. Apparently you don't think you're strong enough. You go stop those rebels. I have no idea how the game calculates if it thinks it can take out rebels, but... It's pretty confusing sometimes. We'll solve that. That's dealt with. Take you out. The issue is really going to be the Pope is actually proving to be a bit more difficult than Spain. Kievian separatists. Not going to have to worry too much about them. Uh, also, this would be a good time to say hi to uh, all the people who uh, subscribed while I was on vacation. It's something like 20 of you, so thank you for that. Every little bit is nice. That is a lot of money. On the other hand, I get 10 loyalty and I can pretty much get a lot of it back. Let's see. That should be the last of the, that should be the only Spanish force in actual Spain. I was thinking maybe I'll, hmm, I don't know what I want to do. In some ways I almost want to try to get a thousand provinces, but on the other hand, Getting rid of some of the border gore that's Europe wouldn't be nice. By that I mean, like, take Spain out of Iberia. But, that would take some work. Unless I can do it in this war. How much development would it take to wipe out Spain? Four and a half wars, which obviously we're not going to have time for, so... I'm not really sure if I should have started the rise to try and take conquering Europe earlier or not because it's still been pretty difficult even with all the forces I had. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I could have won earlier. I was behind in military tech there for a while. And what is this? Ah, oh, admin tech. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Revolutionary Empire, Revolutionary Republic. Government forms. Again, I can't do anything with it, so. And I have a severe doubt that I can actually, you know, force Spain to rebel or anything. I'm still waiting to see a revolutionary empire, I've got to say. I've yet to see one, except from the bookmarks. Well, actually, that might be a fun other Let's Play. It might be to do something like uh, pick a country, play it, and then deliberately cause a revolution. Maybe I'll do a France game when I come back. That might be fun. 
I don't know. Maybe I won't even do one in Europe. Again, if you guys have an opinion on what I should do next, please leave a comment or something. But I'm still probably going to take a bit of a break for a while. I should be able to just march all you guys down here now, right? Yeah. And yeah, you're going to have some trouble there, buddy. 29,000 versus 73,000. I don't think you're going to be fine. Especially since they didn't have a general. However, now that we've split their forces, we'll conquer them. The old uh, Sun Tzu Art of War advice, right? Divide and conquer. In this case, we massively outnumber them, so it's worth splitting up. Where are you fleeing to? Oh, I can't catch him anyway. Okay. There's another fort up there. I'm thinking uh, for the Pope, I should at least get a passage so I can walk through Sicily, uh, through Italy. So something like this. That alone is a, a ton of a war score. Did British Mexico just get its independence? One second, I'm curious. Was that British Mexico? It was. Oh, they didn't get their independence, but now they work for England. Oh, so they, they have, English must have stolen land from the French, maybe? Florida is not winning this war, I will say. I suspect we're going to see France lose most of its land in this. Okay, well, I'm actually probably going to end this video here just because it's... I don't want to go too, too long again. I was doing some long videos before vacation, which I shouldn't have done. Um, I got a couple complaints about that. So uh, that will be it for this video. And uh, I'll see you guys all next time as we eat up both some of the Pope and a lot of Spain. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.